Hi guys, welcome to my channel Confessions of a Gaming Mum and welcome to Post Sunday Run. It's a beautiful day today, a little bit chilly, but that's how I like it when I go running. Although, yeah, I'm absolutely sweltering now. Now I've run. <laughs> might have to break out the shorter trousers. Today is meant to be my slow run on my interval training, but I did push myself a little bit because well, I didn't do my exercises on Friday. So yeah, but my legs were kind of keeping me back because they, they just weren't feeling it today. <laughs> Probably because of the food I had last night. But anyway, yeah, it should be a beautiful day. I'm so glad it's a bank holiday weekend because it was my birthday yesterday, so I didn't get to do any of the stuff that I normally do. So today is going to count as the Saturday where I'm barely going to see my family. But it should be a good day. Hopefully I can get my vlog done. There's not much left for me to do on it before it goes live tonight. Probably should check to make sure my my vlog yesterday went live. Obviously because it was my birthday, I didn't actually check. <laughs> So yeah, I'll have to have a look. But anyway, yeah, I still still think I'm riding high on the fact that I lost like two pounds or nearly three pounds when I weighed myself yesterday. But I have a feeling that's like because I didn't do any of like my physio stuff last week. So yeah, I'm kind of in that sort of frame. And I didn't keep up with my water and stuff. So I'm saying too much of this. I should be saving this for the fitness vlog, but I'm trying to think, struggling to think of what to say. So yeah, I'm not going to count on me losing another two pounds next week, but we'll see. But yeah, so today I've got to finish my vlog. I'm also live streaming. I'll be live streaming Team Raider at usual time, three till five. But I'll also be live streaming Among Us with Ash at seven o'clock, I think, tonight. So um, I don't know who else is joining us, but we'll see. I don't think there's going to be many of us. I think my hubby will try and join once Bob's gone to bed. So, but yeah, so we've got tomorrow off as well, which is good. So we can have actually have a nice day together tomorrow, other than obviously me having to do my exercises tomorrow. But anyway, got to head home because we got we got the shop delivery today. So yeah, I honestly can't think of what I, what I was gonna say. I think I'm just kind of like on a sort of low after after my birthday yesterday. I was definitely feeling the love though yesterday, definitely. I know it's back to reality today. <laughs> but yeah, so I better head off. So I will speak to you later. Hi guys. So uh, yeah, haven't had a chance to go up and get have my shower yet because um, the shop was up quite early today and obviously I was late. The shop has turned up. It's a lot smaller than what it normally is, and a lot cheaper. So we're kind of like, uh, what did we forget? Because <laughs> we did it very late last night when we were very tired. So I'm hoping we haven't forgotten anything. I don't think we have. We'll just have to see. Um, obviously, there's some changes, some different things. So uh, yeah, take you along in this journey of my shopping haul. Let's <laughs> see what you think. Okay, so we'll start over here with the tins. So we've got our usual mushy peas. We bought some cannellini beans because now we have no more beans in the cupboard because <laughs> that was just what I was trying to do with the stew is just, just get through all the uh, the old tins of beans that we had so we can start stocking up on uh, ones we actually eat again. So these will be for the stew during the week. Same as the new potatoes, it's for the stew. So I've got my eggs because I'm still having my omelettes um, during the week. Red lentil pasta again because we're still enjoying the uh, the high protein pasta. We got some Mallorca potatoes, the only ones that were available this week on our shop. Normally we'd just go for the British ones but they weren't available so you know. Uh, some Lotus biscuits for my husband for his lunch. So these are the Warburton's uh, high protein wraps that I'm going to be using to make my new recipe for the week which is high protein pizza because I'm going to try that for my lunch rather than the chicken and the prawns that I normally have. I'm going to see what the protein is like for this and see if it's something that I could introduce into my diet just to give me a bit more variety. So I've got some lemons for my lemon water during the week, carrots for the stew, onions, got some bananas, oh, these are very green, like very green. <laughs> Don't like them when they're that green, Bob won't eat them. Some tomato puree and actually the one with the herbs been trying forever to get hold of these and it's the first time we've been able to get hold of them so that's good got some toothpaste although we actually think our sink in the bathroom is just constantly being clogged at the moment and we actually think it might be because of this toothpaste because my husband bought some declogger the other week as you if you even remember but yeah we tried it and it's made little to no difference at all so the only thing we can think it could be is maybe the toothpaste so Still trying to figure out what we can do, but you know, we'll keep you updated. Uh, anyway, so there's raisins for bubs over here. 
These are the pies that my husband wanted to try because the Tesco ones, though, though they were okay, they're not amazing. So I think he's quite impressed with uh, green cuisine, so he's going to give these ones a go. But they do look quite nice, actually, so I might have to give them a go at some point as well. <laughs> these are the cheese and onion bakes I'm going to have instead of the vegan pie because obviously I'm trying to see if cutting out vegan substitutes actually help with my stomach and my diet and stuff. Because, um, yeah, because I do think vegan substitutes just aren't great to to have when you're having them, like, every day, like what we sometimes tend to do. So, yeah, so that's that. Um, the vegan sausages for the stew that we have, because these are absolutely amazing in the stew. Got our lunches, chicken tikka with onion bhaji for me, plant chef Caesar for my husband. And um, They didn't have Bob's usual cheese sandwich, so we're going to have to make him, but we've got plenty of cheese and bread, so it's fine. Um, got some chips, got vegan meatballs for my hubby, soya, sweet and soya because unsweetened soya just I don't do well with that in my protein powder. Some more oatly, as you can see, this is like all the milk we have. Normally we have piles of it, but we have we have so much of it and we're not really drinking much of it. So yeah, we'll see if uh, if we can get through more of it this week. Our beloved um, free from yogurts. These are just so tasty and they're so nice and they're Tesco so they're really cheap. So if you want to try dairy free and you want to try cheap and you do live near a Tesco, I highly recommend getting them because they are really, really nice. Some of uh, Bubsy's uh, yogurts as well there. Chris for my husband. These are the ones that I'm trying because they didn't have the turkey and meatballs that I normally have. I thought they were pork but they're actually beef. So we're going to give these a go, see how I get on with these. Um, these are literally just on standby until we can get hold of the turkey ones, because obviously with turkey there's less fat. But yeah, because I want to try and stay away from vegan substitutes at the moment, I'm going to give these a go and see how I get on. Crumpets for my husband's lunch. Got Bob's a microwave meal for tonight. Mozzarella for the pizzas that I'll be trying. Some pepperoni as well for the pizza. This is what my husband's having, a cheeky tikka. So it's vegan microwave meal for tonight and this is mine the lasagna because that was yummy last week so i'm having it again some more oat bars for bubs because he absolutely loves these and lastly loaf of bread um i think in all like i said this is a really really cheap shop i think it came to like 68 pounds something so we're kind of in that frame of mind of like what have we forgotten i know normally i have my chicken which is quite expensive and also prawns which are quite expensive and cottage cheese which i don't think is that expensive but obviously they've been taken off the list and these have been replaced like they've been replaced by this so it might be that, I don't know. So that's what we're hoping. But we haven't bought any like household products, which also costs quite a lot. So I think maybe it's because of that. But anyway, I need to get sorted because I've got a busy day and I need to put all this away so I can go up and have a shower. And so you can, you can use your scooter, can't you there? Yeah, that way, Bubba. Look, it's nice and clear that way. You can actually skate down it. Tuesday. I know you would normally see me talking in my car after a run but unfortunately I wasn't able to go for my run today. Two reasons. Basically because I've not been getting a lot of sleep lately so I woke up absolutely exhausted this morning felt like I didn't have any energy. It took all my sort of little effort just to get dressed and head downstairs and then as soon as I headed downstairs and I looked out the kitchen window I could see it was a force nine gal blowing like just as much as it did yesterday and it was absolutely just 
pissing it down so I decided not to go um, because last time or the last few times I've tried to go running when it's been blowing a gale I've really really struggled and today was meant to be beast mode day so I decided that it was going to take all my effort to even just run normally so I decided against it and I was like I need to have a lie-in at least once this week so I decided that that would be the case so I got back into my P PJs and just went back to bed for another two hours before Bob's woke up so yeah and I think I needed that because I have been waking up absolutely exhausted the last few days and I have not really stopped the last few days either hence why you've not really seen a lot of video footage from me unfortunately like Sunday was just manic in terms of one getting back from my run doing the shopping haul and everything then having to finish editing my vlog to be released on that night um doing two live streams my own live stream and then joining ash on another live stream and then yesterday getting all my housework done for the monday and then um taking bubs to the local not or not so local park that i used to go to when i was little because my husband wanted to wanted to go well we both wanted to go really and because i haven't been for years so i wanted to sort of have a bit of a nostalgia trip sort of thing but yeah so it was really like non-stop yesterday i did get my exercises in but it was kind of like a rush so hence why i didn't record anything before them and yeah then today i've missed out on my exercises so yeah so yeah that kind of explains as well why i've not really been filming much Paul arrived today though which i'm really happy and excited about but again because the weather is so crap i can't be out in the garden building it so and I don't know when I'm going to be able to build it because I think this weather is meant to be in for the rest of the week so I'm a bit peeved about that but we shall see anyway I'm just keeping an eye on the weather each day I think just because I'm super eager to build it and also it's stuck in the hallway and Bob's keeps interfering with it and I'm just worried that he's going to pull it on top of himself and it is really really heavy but yeah I just want to give you guys an update just so you know what I'm up to and stuff Last night I managed to finish editing my Assassin's Creed video, so tonight we'll be work uh, editing my Tomb Raider video to go up for Thursday. And then hopefully I'll kind of be caught up on everything um, editing wise until Thursday when I need to do obviously my fitness vlog and also my Sunday vlog. And hopefully I can get them done so I don't have to worry about them on Saturday. But anyway, that's my update. Hopefully I will either speak to you guys tonight if there's any other update for me to give. If not, I will speak to you tomorrow before I do my exercises. So, speak to you whenever. <laughs> Hi guys, so welcome to post run on Thursday. It was a struggle <laughs> in terms of being able to like motivate myself to get out of the house. Um, I weren't too tired this morning. It was more just knowing that it was going to be cold and I didn't feel like I was in the mood for running but ended up being a really good run so, so I was quite pleased. Not my best time but still a really good time. I'm definitely getting close to that six minutes per kilometre I think so yeah really really pleased. Um, I can't talk for long because I'm running a bit late this morning. So yeah just wanted to update on the fact that my poll, I got my poll up which I'm really pleased about so it took me a long while to do so it's going to be one of those things i'm just going to have to keep practicing over and over again bloody notification yeah i'm just going to have to keep practicing over and over again in order to be able to justify being able to get it out every day because you can't really leave it out like if it's going to rain or whatever you have to put it away so it might have to be that maybe i can keep it out for a couple of days in the summer when we know it's not going to rain but yeah we just have to see it's currently stored in the garage so because we thought we might be able to fit in the cupboard under the stairs but there's no way it'd be able to and it's just so heavy well the pole the actual pole bit is in the cupboard under the stairs but the rest of it's in the garage because it wouldn't fit and it's too heavy to maneuver it so yeah it's thursday which means it's nursery day so today is probably going to be me just sat in front of the computer trying to get my vlogs done i'm hoping that i'm starting to settle in a bit more although i still want to get into a thing of doing more action shots because i've i've become lazy again and not doing them so i'm thinking that i might be able to get both done today maybe i just have to stop getting distracted by stuff so uh, i'm like oh shiny but yeah so hopefully i can get them both done today so i don't have to worry about it this weekend because obviously we've got our friend coming over this weekend for her surprise christmas present that we actually got her, which is going to be an afternoon tea so yeah obviously i can say that now because obviously it's this saturday and this vlog is going to go out like a week later so it's fine <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy it rosie so that's that so yeah i need to hurry up so i will 
hopefully speak to you later maybe i'll see how rushed i am when it comes to vlogging so yeah see you later mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hi guys so it's actually sunday not saturday but that's because um our best friend came around yesterday so we didn't really have time to vlog or anything yeah it was quite a, quite a quick one so we basically got up had breakfast went to see my nan again she's doing really well she's very upbeat at the moment which is good so yeah it was nice to see her we couldn't stay for long though like i said um because our friend was coming to to visit and we had to make sure we were home in order to receive the afternoon tea as well that we'd got her as a surprise we didn't stay long unfortunately with my nan and also there was a the fact that bubs has got this cold so I don't really want him spending too much time around her because I didn't obviously want her to catch it. He did spend pretty much all of Friday night just coughing, coughing his lungs up. Luckily my husband was able to find a Lemsip cough syrup that um, that apparently kids can take, luckily. But he can only take it like, he can only take like half a dose that an adult can. So, um, but at least he's able to take it, which is good. And it really has helped him, so that's that's really good thing like yesterday he was barely coughing at all so that was great but yes yeah, so we got home just in time to be there for when the afternoon tea was delivered and then our friend came around and she absolutely loved the surprise she was like it's absolutely amazing the afternoon tea itself was again absolutely amazing it was a uh, little pinky vintage afternoon tea again like she just absolutely on point with the stuff that she she does she did a v v day special because obviously yesterday was v day so there was different sandwiches so it was like beef and horseradish salmon and cream cheese coronation chicken cheese and pickle i think that was yeah that was the sandwiches and they were really really nice normally she has like a different different flavor but yeah so those are the first time i'd had those and they were absolutely lovely and the cakes I had my carrot cake cupcake last night. I still have my Victoria sponge because there was just so much of it. I couldn't um, eat it yesterday. I've got a, a meringue, like chocolate with uh, a chocolate base in like the red, blue and white colours for the, the Union flag. I've got a cake lolly. I'm not sure if it's like sponge or whatever. I haven't actually eaten it. My husband ate it and he wasn't sure. And then my, my friend ate hers and she was like, it's almost like a fudge. So yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure what it is but I'm, I'm looking forward to enjoying it at some point I haven't been able to eat it yet because as soon as Bub sees it he wants it so I have to eat it when he's not around but yeah so that was nice and because there was so much sweet we really was craving something savoury so then we had a uh, fish we have fish and chips we introduced my friend to the tv series on Netflix of Me the Medici's because she did watch recently the ne Leonardo drama that's on Prime and she wasn't a big fan of it at all. I was, but I think it was because I went into it having very low expectations. And when that tends to happen, I tend to enjoy things more. <laughs> but I think she was thinking she was going to go into it with the fact that Aidan Turner is a really good actor and it would actually be a really good sort of factual drama, which it wasn't. So, <laughs> so yeah, we had different thoughts on that. But hopefully she enjoys the Medici's. I think she's meant to be watching it today. So uh, so we'll have to see what she thinks. But yes, it was just really nice to catch up with her. Also, I heard from my parents yesterday. They've finally got their COVID jabs booked. They've got both of them booked in terms of like the first and second jab. I think their second jab isn't until the end of July. So obviously they've had to move when they were planning on coming over back to the UK to August. But then that was kind of... I didn't see them coming any earlier and the way that things are it's very uncertain like what's actually happening with overseas travel anyway at the moment so I think probably the later they leave it the better so yeah we'll just see how things go um I'm still keeping an eye on when I can actually go because at the moment it's still in the over 40s that are legible for a jab obviously mine will be like 35 and over now so yeah I just have to keep an eye on when that opens up so once that's done I can get that booked in so that'll be good I can't think of anything else there was to say oh my my copy of Skyrim turned up so I was really happy so I, I put it in my my switch loaded it up and showed my friend because she's a massive fan of Skyrim as well so I think I might have won her round to actually buying herself a, a switch because she hasn't got one yet so I was like you need to get yourself a switch <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so hopefully she she'll get one eventually. But yes, yeah, so I've I've literally did the first scene from uh, Skyrim. I haven't even uh, created my character yet, but I was just like super impressed with how good it looked on it. So I'm so excited to be able to play it. I still need to play a bit more of Animal Crossing though, so uh, so I can't neglect that. But we'll see. But anyway, I need to 
get on with things so hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already you can also follow me on social media or the links will be down below and on that note i'll say love you guys and i shall see you on the next video bye